I was just going through my Facebook ads manager and I saw that one of my ad sets got a 1350% ROI and I wanted to share that in this case study with you and it's actually not so much about the ad or the funnel which I am going to share by the way but it's mostly about how I've set up the audience right because who's going to see your Facebook ad usually has the biggest impact on your ROI we see it on our cold audiences but also on our retarding audience this is actually a retarding ad uh, which I'm going to show you so just in case we haven't met before, my name is Wilco de Cray. I'm from the Netherlands, as you can probably tell by my terrible accent. And um, I've been running Facebook ads for quite a few years now, actually. Um, it wasn't always easy. Like initially, as we all know, we, I probably tried for a couple of months and then, um, not probably, I tried for, for a couple of months, wasted a lot of money, stopped, tried it again half a year later, stopped like a couple of times. And then after a year and a year and a half or so, I actually got it to work. Uh, so whoever is telling you that Facebook ads is easy, they are, beep, like it's not easy, but it is worth it. It's definitely worth it. So what's this all about? So actually, what first of all, I want to actually show you the funnel. So what we do, uh, this is to promote one of our products uh, at Connectio, and it's called Connect Explorer, by the way, the product that we're actually promoting. And what we do is we, we run Facebook ads, so let me just say Facebook ad, and we promote that, we run that toward a opt-in page, right? like where people can enter their name and email address to, to get something, in this case, a training video, right? So after they do that, we send them straight to that training video. So this is a video where we actually tell, tell them something about Facebook ads, how to improve their targeting in this case. And after they watch that video, there is an optional thing that they can actually get, right? Which is Connect Explore. They don't have to get that, they can just watch the training video, that's good content, but also like, hey, throughout that content, we'll show them like, hey, if you want this easier and better, you can get access to Connect Explore. So we're running Facebook ads, getting, to, getting them to opt-in, not everyone's gonna opt-in, sure, Cool. Then we'll get, get them to watch this video. Not everyone's going to watch this video, and if, even if they watch the video, not everyone's going to purchase. Cool. That's fine. And that's obviously where retargeting comes in, right? Where we, if people watch this video or like go through this page, we'll retarget them and say like, hey, you know, you missed something. You opted in, but you didn't actually make a purchase, right? Now. Something that I've been doing for a long time, for years now, which some people still don't know, it, it, it's crazy. Like, like, let's say you have a website, right? And you are retargeting, like all these visitors are coming to your website, like, right? Some visitors, they're just gonna bounce right off. Like, after a second, like, this is not for me. While others, they're gonna like scroll all the way down to your page. They spent, uh, they spent a bunch of time. This is a clock, in case you don't see my Beautiful design. There's a clock. So people spend a lot of time. Some people scroll down. So there's like basically people who, who spend a lot of time and there's people who leave your site without buying. Like that. Like people who leave, people who are awesome, right? So most advertisers, what they do is they will just retarget both of them, right? Like it doesn't matter. If someone bounces off your site, you're still going to retarget. Why do advertisers do that? Well, <laughs> quite frankly, because that's the only thing that Facebook ads actually allows. Like the Facebook pixel uh, is optimized to just retarget everyone because that's in Facebook's best interest. And that's why what we use is something called Connect, Connect Retarget, which allows you to run behavioral retargeting ads, which means that you can literally create an audience for, for, for example, people who've scrolled down to a certain page on your website, to a certain section on your website, or people who spent more than 10 seconds or more than 20 seconds on your site. And only those people are gonna see your ad. And what this allows you to do is only target the people who are most interested in what you have to offer and not waste any money on all those people that are not gonna buy anyway, right? So that's what we've been doing for a long time and works incredibly well. And we've been doing that on this funnel as well, right? So I figured, you know what, even if they opt in, it doesn't really matter that they are you know, gonna watch that video. Some people are gonna opt in because they're on their mobile and they're like, they see the Facebook ad, they enter their name and email address and they're right after, it's like, wait a second. This is not for me. I don't want to see this dude and talking about Facebook ads. Boom, they're gone. And if you if you don't want to watch this video, that's fine. Totally cool with it. But I prefer not to waste my money on you as well, right? So I figured, you know what? I'm going to do an experiment. I'm just I'm not just going to target everyone. I'm also going to see what the difference is if someone clicks, like removes right away, or if people at least say 10 seconds on this page. 10 seconds is not a long time, but enough for people to really decide. Most people decide whether they want to stay somewhere within a few seconds, right? So if they stay more than 10 seconds, only then I'm going to show the ad. Now here's what happened in my Facebook ads account. I just noticed this. So this is, these are the stats for the last 14 days, as you can see right here. And right here, this one is Connect Explorer Video Training. These are the ones that have opted into that funnel I just showed you, right? So on that, on those people, I spent $97. Not a lot, but as you can see, zero sales, right? Zero revenue, which is totally not good, but might still happen, nothing to worry about. But here's the same audience, but then for people who spend more than 10 seconds on that page using Connect or Target, right? I spent $134, almost $135, actually. And as you can see, I got eight sales, 
with a con conversion value of $1,814, which is an ROI of 13.45, in other words, 1,345%, right? Simply because I'm only spending money on people who are actually interested, like the ones that are not just tire kickers. And we've been doing that for a lot of our funnels. Like even if someone goes to our main website, like if, if you spend more than a certain amount of time or you scroll down, then we'll put you in a specific retarding campaign because we know there's more profit there. So really this case is what it's all about. Oh, and by the way, I almost forgot, as I mentioned, I wanted to show you the opt-in page as well. You'll find the opt-in page here at connectio.io slash interest dash targeting dash fix, right? It's totally free. All you need to do is enter your name and email address or actually just your email address. We even better. It's like half price off today, right? So if you do that, you'll get access to this training video. Again, you don't have to buy anything. It's totally optional, uh, but this is actually a good training if you want to learn more about targeting cold audiences on Facebook, it's really, really good actually. Uh, so I highly recommend it. So this is the actual funnel I'm doing this with. So the reason why I wanted to show this video with all of you is to make sure that you're aware that even if you're running retargeting, retargeting ads, don't just think like, oh, I'm just gonna retarget everyone who visited my site. I highly recommend you to only retarget those who actually engage, who for example, scroll down on your website or who actually uh, spend more than a certain amount of time, like more than 20 seconds on your page to make sure that you're not wasting money on people who are not remotely interested in what you have to offer. And as mentioned before, you can get access to this at connectio.io slash connect retarget. I don't wanna make this a promotional video, but I just wanna make you aware that it's possible because this is like the easiest way to increase your ROI. So if you wanna check out more about connect retarget, check it out at connectio.io slash connect retarget. So just wanted to share that with all of you. Hopefully you're having an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.